game one of the current series. If you're just starting out, you're in the right place. Okay, once again, group play at home strike up number four, group B. And this game, we're going to have our blue Protoss, Team Alternate Zocker, versus our red Terran, which is Marine King Prime. And Shakuris Peto. Marine King has spawned up in the northeast position. Zocker's spawned up in the northwest position. Zocker offering good luck, have fun, lower caps, and Marine King is just cruise control for cool. He's got his all caps going. Love it. I've not seen Zocker play since like 2010 ish. No. I just know that he has awesome hair. Dropping a pile on here right next to his Nexus. Supply so Depot going on the same spot. Yep, mirrored building placement. Amazing. Yeah. Not really. It's changing my world. Chrono's going down on probes. And the scouting probe moving out across the map. I, I guess I, should, I bring up having not seen Zucker play in a while because I, don't, I have no idea what to expect of him. I have no idea where his play is at. You know, is he... I have no idea if, if he's somebody who'd be capable of taking on a, you know, relatively top-level Korean like Marine King. Well, or if I should be expecting a steamroll here. They're in the same building, so they got to the same place at this point. Their paths may have differed a little bit. Agro probe coming in. Not quite not quite able to reach the SCV building that barracks. Both players grabbing gas early and not early, but already. The probe is about to try and steal some minerals there, but decided against decided to become an agro probe instead. Probe does see the first marine come, probably be getting out of here before long. Yeah, he's running off. And the reactor comes down right after that marine. Cyber core going down Zakra's base. And Marine King throws on a second gas. So nothing too unusual here, fairly standard openings. Yeah. Reactor on the barracks. CV here, dropping a factory. So the factory will be a bit late relative to the reactor. The reactor is already done now. Zucker dropping. Is starting. Proxy pylon down in the south. And Marine King moving out with the scout. Marine King does not often scout early. Yeah, this is definitely not early. Uh, taking a hit from the Zealot. Probably just gonna get shot down okay. by the Stalker here. Yep, ends yep. up seeing nothing. Well, yeah, Knowing his is... enemy is Protoss. This isn't early, but I mean, usually Marine King doesn't scout, you know, with workers early, you know. Yep, Marine, Marine King, King going 1 1 1 straight into the starport. It's gonna hold the uh, Zealot Stalker pressure. The factory's building a tech lab now. So we're not going to see Hellions. Hellions have become a very standard thing for Marine King in all the games I've seen of him recently. Soccer grabbing is natural. Robo Bay is about halfway done. Circuit finishes, grabs the tech lab that the factory built while it was under construction. And also Soccer adding a second gateway. And first Raven on its way out. Marines catch a stalker out in front of Marine King's base. Right near the bottom of his ramp. Factory building another tech lab. It's getting good practice in with that. It's 11 Marines are now moving out into the center of the map. See if they go for pressure, or are they just going for the tower? Well, they're continuing past the tower. 
be scouted by this probe. This probe is not bound to lock this world. Nope, and he's dead. Nope. Since you're falling back, it doesn't have enough energy to drop force fields at the natural ramp. Sucks Nexus finishes. Oh, three stalkers, stalkers and sentry. Sentry, oh, sentry, sentry goes, goes down. Quickly. Four stalkers now, another one joining. Marking doing a good job of picking out the low health stalker. Yep, another stalker goes down. Nine marines still standing. Eight marines still standing. Great marine micro. Down to six marines. The Nexus is almost out of shields. Down to two stalkers. Oh my! No, not quite. Stalkers forced stalker. away. Nexus is losing health now. Seven hundred health. Three new stalkers coming in. They're all full health and shields. And yeah, the marines are down here. Two marines left. And the marines are done. Nexus Meanwhile. is brought down to six hundred thirty-four health by that. Yep, third tank being added on, to siege tech going down. First raven and one banshee out on the field. Another banshee half done. Looks like Marine King's looking to expand to his own natural as well. Also, the first observer gets cancelled and instead we're going to see an immortal and it's being chronoed. Zucker's now sitting on four warp gates and a robo bay. Oh, Banshee almost gets caught by Stalkers, but it doesn't end up dying. Now these Marines tanks and a Banshee and a Raven pushing these th four Stalkers away back towards Stalker's base. Stalker warps in four Zealots. But Marine King breaks off and heads back towards his own base. He did drop a PDD in order to save his Banshee there. Yeah, a good reflex. There's just ten health left on that Banshee. Finishing off the PDD and sending six stalkers forward. We have two banshees trailing behind. We have two banshees on the map moving out. Let's see. They don't have cloak yet, and the cloak is not being researched. These four t tanks with their siege tech are going to be hard for Zucker to try to push into, and he's going back towards his own base anyway. Oh, there's two Banshees getting at the mineral field, taking out probes left and right. It's four, five, yeah, basically halting it. They don't have cloak, but Zucker didn't respond to Banshees in the middle of the map. And there's an observer so. there anyway, so it wouldn't help them now. Yeah. But just one stalker coming up here to try and fight him off. It doesn't quite die. They're going for the robotic support bay now. Here comes some more stalkers. Uh, they don't quite yeah, catch they're gonna push them. Don't quite catch a banshee though. Yeah, the banshees are just gonna run away now. Some free probes. A little bit of damage and scaring socks army away. Or sucker. Stem's now on the way. Tank production is continuing, also getting another reactor for one of his bunkers, or barracks. Colossi production beginning. Getting another factory for the tech lab, lifting off the starport to get it a reactor elsewhere. Thermal lands being upgraded. Rankin looks like he's gonna be moved, pushing out with this his army. He's got six tanks, four banshees, a little clump of marines, and a raven. Also, two SCVs moving with the group. Zuck sees it thanks to a stalker at the tower. Stalker gets out of there. A few more stalkers joining it. Oh, they turned back. First class, I blending into the ball. It's engaged does not look good for Zucker. Just four stalkers for anti air, and there's four banshees in this group. I mean, the banshees alone could almost take 
focus on. Tanks go to seed. PDD goes up and catches a lot of the stalker hits. A few more stalkers joining, but the Colossus goes down quickly to the tank fire, as well as the Banshees. And the Immortals get taken yeah. down. Take out half the tanks, but yeah, the remaining half are more than enough. Some Marines were lost. All four Banshees still stand and are healthy. More Marines in a tank yep. being added. Tanks sieging up at the bottom of the ramp. Banshees and Marines coming forward. Probes get pulled and go up the ramp. Zucker will not this be able to fix this. It's going to go down any moment here. Another stock, group of stalkers with the Colossus that are pushing in and pulling back. Nexus goes yep, down. Nexus goes to that. Few zealots warping them on the low ground here. Stalker now is the thermal lance, or the Colossus now is the thermal lance. He's able to do some better damage up from well behind the stalkers. Yep. But the Colossus goes down quickly. Pushing right up the ramp, take out the Colossus. And yep, Zucker Zucker GG's. GG's out. There's just not enough to answer for that army. Nope, uh, the Banshee Harass was decent, the map control was pretty decent for Marine King. You just ended up outmassing Zucker with a pretty effective, you know, siege tank with siege mode, Marines, and Banshee push. Yeah, and Zucker only had production, or he had the four gateways and one robo bay. And he had two bases for a while, but we just wasn't able to spend all of that because of his limited production capabilities. So we just sort of fell behind on army size to Marine King's two bases with mules.